I do apologize, everyone. I know I'm a day late, but I'm here. But I'm here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is your favorite collector, Sweet Wills. And I want to give you all my opinion in regarding to the Pink Alamo exclusive re-release of the DEC backpacks that you all see right here. Now, I'm not going to front. I'm Listen, I know I'm not the only one either. How many of y'all thought when y'all saw DEC, you was thinking about the December? I'm just saying that is the abbreviations, DEC. I'm like, December long fly backpacks. What is this? I ain't, when, when, what are they talking about? But it means Disney Employee Center, okay? That's what that means. So, yeah, I know I ain't the only one. Also, before you even continue watching this video, please hit the like button for your girl. I would really, really appreciate it. But on Thursday, these three bags here released. Now, they did give us a hint to what the bags were going to be. I'm going to show you all the hint in a few. And I really had no clue. I'm like, okay, what are they talking about? Some people did guess that these bags would be released. But I'm thinking, okay, these were employee bags. They were limited edition. They should not be coming back. Now, I know this isn't the best hint picture. This was one of the pictures they released, but they released another one. You can see that it was Maleficent, Ursula, and the Evil Queen. So it was obvious it was those three, but I wasn't thinking these three bags right here. I was thinking maybe they got some newer bags that they're going to release. What they did this time, they did the reveal an hour before the bags released. So the, the reveal happened at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and the release happened at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. How I know because I had to take this emergency restroom break and place this order in my office <laughs> i was just hoping that nobody wasn't having their own full-blown conversations and dropping the big one up in there while i was in there only thing i wanted to inhale was some victory that's it i, I didn't want to inhale nothing else but the v-i-c-t-o-r-y that's it i mean seeing these bags i was shocked i was really shocked i know a lot of people heart dropped for excitement and some folks may be disappointment. What I want to do here is before I give you all my opinion in regarding to these bags being re-released, I want to go ahead and read you off some of the comments from a discussion that happened on Thursday. Someone did make a post, post to get a discussion going and they said, I want to start a discussion. Following the re-release of the highly sought after DEC, Disney Employee Center lounge fly bags on Pink a la Mode today, which was Thursday, do you think the work will go down or stay the same for the previous LE 600 bags? So those bags there were actually a limited edition of 600 bags. Just want to let everybody know. Do you think the re-release was a good idea or a bad one? How do current past cast members feel about this? Drop your opinion below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read off some of the comments from this particular post. I must say this discussion here, no one was rude. No one was being mean to each other. Everyone was just giving their opinion. Some people agreed with it. Some people didn't. I was trying to find a post where someone made mention of how much they spent on this bag before this release. And I think I saw $1,000. Now I want to read some of the comments from this post. For the first one, it says, I think it's great. Loungefly execs have said in the past themselves that no one should be paying hundreds, thousands for their bags. And I agree. They're bags. No matter that people want to turn them, turn them into collectibles with no other use, there are just as many people who use them as bags. Loungefly doesn't make money when someone else takes a $70 bag and sells it for $2,000. They make money when someone buys the fashion accessory at the actual store. In order for someone to sell anything for over retail, they first have to buy it. So if the bag is $70 and they decide to sell it later, of course, Loungefly is not going to get that money or any of these actual shops are going to get that money. They're going to get the money from the actual purchase of the bag. So that $2,000 or $3,000, no, they're not going to get it. But they do make that money up front if somebody purchases a bag from them, a website, or even a store that sells it. They get their money up front. A person that's selling a bag for $2,000, they have gotten it at retail. It's just that as time went along, the value of the bag went up, and that's how they're able to sell it back. And no, lounge fly don't get it. The consumer does. That could be part of the reason why some of these bags are coming back as well. I know they want to make consumers happy, but on the other end, it could be for the fact that they see the value of these bags. They see how many people want them, and if they put them out, they can get all the money and kind of decrease the value that it's going for on the second and third market. So that's a smart move. Moving on to the next comment. 
I think it's great other people are getting a chance and all them outrage it was a cast members exclusive. Remember, a lot of cast members sold these bags on for crazy prices. Also, let's not forget, once it's in your possession, it's your property. You choose to do whatever you want to do with it. If you want to sell it for 50 cents, $50, 500 or $1,000, that's up to you. Now, as far as the buyer, it's up to the buyer to want to buy it. When folks post stuff for sale, nobody's forcing you to buy it. Nobody's saying you got to get this or else. You choose to do so. Next comment. I don't mean to be rude, but are people really collecting these bags thinking they have real value? I mean, maybe it's possible, but this brand has not even been long established like actual IT fashion house brands. And I'm wondering if they're even proven to be of same quality. You know what? This is very interesting because I've never looked at lounge fly bags and thought about these high fashion brands at all. And I don't think I look at other designers. I only focus on lounge fly. I don't try to compare them to someone else because they're different. But I can tell you one thing. There are some bags that have a value so high that if that person sold it, which some people have done, they can buy them a Louis Vuitton crossbody, a Dooney tote, a coach wallet, and a Gucci backpack and still have money left over. That's what I could say. And there are some bags out there that's worth that kind of money. And I know folks going to say, well, that's something I would never do. I would never spend that kind of money. But there are folks out there that's willing to do that. Maybe not you, but there are folks that are doing that type of stuff. They're spending two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 on these backpacks. But this is very interesting. I don't know how many... I mean, y'all comment down below and tell me what you think about this comment because I think it's very interesting. You know what the amazing thing about this particular comment? There was someone else that came back and replied to it and was able to break it down to this individual. So right now, they have a better understanding of what's going on. And that's what it's all about. And that's why I like that discussion that they had because a lot of people... They were okay with it. They didn't agree with it. And it was civilized. Nobody wasn't tripping or flipping out. And people was actually explaining it. And folks were having a better understanding of why people do what they do. Why people felt the way they felt. Whether they agreed or disagreed with it. So that's what I like. Next comment. Yeah, I think prices will go down. I think that Loungefly shouldn't allow this though to be honest. I mean, if it's an exclusive to somewhere, it should remain exclusive to that store. If it's advertised as limited edition 600, it should be a limited should be limited edition 600 and not be re-released again to make people happy or to mow more money. It really makes believing a bag is is an exclusive kind of hard to believe now and also the number cuz they can decide to release more whenever. This is very very true and I agree with this person here. I do think if it's a limited edition of 600, it should have stayed that way. It should not be re-released to make people happy. Now them getting more money, I'm not so much worried about that part. Releasing stuff just because folks don't want to pay that kind of money and and I'm going to tell you something. A lot of these releases that happen right now, people people most of the people who want these bags are folks who just started collecting or weren't hardcore collectors. I can tell you something right now of 2020 when that January mini Space Mountain backpack was released. Trust and believe my store had a total of four bags and not one person that was in that line or came into the store that Saturday brought any of those bags. Those, I was the only one that purchased that January backpack and by the end of the day, they had three left. So nobody wasn't interested in that stuff. And that was January of 2020. This collection didn't start getting big to, to March or April of 2020. But yes, I agree with this individual. If it's a limited edition of 600, it should have stayed that way. Whether you or me were able to get those bags the other day, it should have been left alone. And with stuff like this, what is limited edition and what isn't? That is the question. To answer, we just don't know and probably won't ever get. On to the next comment. Good idea. Maybe the value of the bags will begin to go back to their actual 30 80 ish dollars and we can enjoy trading if we so choose, not gouging. Um, excuse me. Now, I don't want to speculate, but I want to know, is this person talking about collectors and people who resell, flip for a living? I'm hoping both because both all for both of them do it. Collectors do the exact same thing. How many of these bags you see, like the castle bag, you think they're selling for retail? No, they're selling it for six, seven, eight hundred dollars. And guess what? They have every right to do that. That's their bag. And the same thing with flippers, they do the exact same thing. It's a big difference, though, because when it comes to those who do this stuff for a living or do this for a side hustle, they get the most backlash 
and people ignore collectors doing the exact same thing. Now, I'm not going to say all people ignore it. And like I said, I don't know if this individual is referring to collectors and people who do this for a living or just one person. But I'm hoping they're talking about both because both parties do it too. Moving right along. We can buy a bag because we love it, not because of what its value might be and we can't profit from it off someone who just loves the bag. I'm going to tell you something. Some of these bags that are worth a lot of money were released when majority of these people were not collecting lounge fly at all. For those of y'all who've been collecting lounge fly for a long time and got these bags, I'm talking about the Seven Dwarfs bags. I'm talking about the um, Monsters Incorporated, which are Disney Parks bags that I'm going to talk about a little later. Give y'all my opinion on that. Let me know when you got your bag. Did you see the bag at the parks and it was just sitting on the sitting on the shelves? Did you even see it go? Did you even see it get discounted online or at the parks or in the stores? Let me know. Cause those same bags that cost so much money, those are some of the bags that folks want to see back. But some people don't want to have the same bag as you. But I do understand what they're saying. They just want to get a bag and not have to pay an arm and a leg to get it. Next comment. If I was a cast member, got one of these cast members, and it was supposed to be exclusive only to cast members, I'd be pretty upset. I would be too. If this was an exclusive to only us, and now it's available to somebody else, I would feel a certain type of way. That's that person's opinion. I agree with it. Some folks do not agree with it. Cast member or not, those bags cost a lot of money. And I read the comment before, cast members are selling these bags for a lot of money as well. So folks may feel like since they want to sell it for that kind of money, it's kind of glad that Disney's sticking it to them and putting it back on the market. To the fact that some folks have already spent that kind of money. Somebody also made a comment about somebody spending that kind of money talking about some. They need to make better decisions. They should make better decisions with their money interesting huh i don't think it was cool to re-release i am not huge into collecting but i imagine for true collectors it kind of ruins the fun funko is definitely known for re-releasing vaulted exclusive though so i can't say it surprises me much and we already know funko and lounge fly are the same and that's true they are whew, they will release some old funkos like no other and I'm not with that either, okay? Let me just say this. I am not with re-releasing old Funko Pops, whether I got them or not, because that does bring down the value of a collection. Now, with Funkos, they do have, like, a Funko app where you can actually you know what Funkos you have, and I know somebody asked that from Loungefly. Now, it would be nice since Funko and Loungefly are together on that Funko app, put all the Loungefly backpacks that, that they have released on there as well. That's a great idea, Funko. I hope y'all listening to me. I hope somebody from Funko watching my video and um uh, and y'all hiring. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second job after all these releases. That's all I'm saying. I'm just throwing my bid out there. But for real, holla at me. And it does take the fun out of collecting. And it's sad for those who have been collecting for a long time. Everybody don't want to have the same bag as everybody else. Like it's nice to see that some of the bags that I have, not not a lot of people don't have. And at this point, I can't say how long it'll be before they do have it. Because no telling what they bring it back. Well, that'll be it for the comments. And I must say that despite some of the comments I read were especially on those I didn't agree with, I'm really happy that it was made because despite my opinion about what they said, it does give me a better understanding on how some collectors think when it comes to lounge fly bags i appreciate the individual who posted it too because it opened up a larger dialogue that way we can have a better understanding of all collectors who collect lounge fly whether you collect it for value or you collect it just because you like the bag or you want to get a bag that you don't want to pay a lot of money for or you don't mind paying a lot of money for it. different types of opinions makes you understand lounge fly collectors or the lounge fly community a whole lot better each individual's opinion is quite different that's one of the things i do take away when there's a big discussion like this and it's very helpful oh, let's get on to my rant video <laughs> now it's time for my opinion about this this release here was actually done on pink a la mode website and they did mention that an hour before before the release they'll reveal the pictures so they reveal these and i'm gonna tell you something i think everybody was shocked i think everybody was shocked with joy disappointment happiness and sadness okay all of that at the same time i was just shocked that they would even release this because from what i understood this was a limited edition of 600 and only cast members could get this when the release happened it was one or two minutes probably even one minute 
Ariel Maleficent was gone. At the two minute mark, Snow White was still there and she did eventually sell out. Now, I did get all three of the bags and a lot of other collectors too, which brings me to the question, how many bags were released? Because I know when it comes to these type of releases, a lot of collectors don't usually get them, especially being this type of bag and knowing the value that it was, knowing that the value that it was going for, this normally doesn't happen. But Pink Automo did make a statement and that was from the, the Strawberry Sunday release that they will not be revealing how many bags that they'll be having with these releases, which I don't kind of agree with, but okay, I don't kind of agree with because I really would like to know and most collectors would like to know, but and some collectors feel as if you like the bag, what do you need to know the number for? But that's a whole nother discussion. I don't want to get into it. And that's just the differences of collectors who want to know numbers and those who don't. That's fine. What Pink Alamo did do, and they have an app, download their app, which is Pink Alamo. These three bags here were on the wait list. Also, the Strawberry Sunday backpack was on the wait list because they did make a statement before this release that for the, before this release of rules and if you break the rules previous pre-orders that you made with them would be canceled and also if you did any of the pink con in the spook fest if you got any of those tickets that would be canceled as well so some folks did break the rules i was talking to my sweet willis i believe none of them broke the rules i'm not too sure if you all broke the rules but if you did that's probably why your stuff is gone on the app only you can get up on the wait list for these three bags also the strawberry sunday some people are actually able to get these items from the um, wait list so congratulations to you all. Now with the Pink Con and the Spook Fest tickets for those that were canceled, they will not have those back to purchase. They will give those away in a raffle. So I'm hoping I can win one, especially for the Pink Con. I got the Spook Fest, but I want the Pink Con tickets so I can guarantee that I can get a Seven Doors backpack and not have to worry and compete with all of y'all. I want to say congratulations to those of y'all who was actually able to get the bags um, that were successful getting it. I know some people did not get it. And they are working on trades as of right now. Okay, I mean the Cinderella bag, the Cinderella Disney Parks backpack came out to play. This release here, I'm telling you, was probably the most surprising release. There's a lot of collectors that were disappointed that they brought these bags back. But these bags are exclusive bags. Some people paid a thousand dollars, thirteen hundred. I think someone said, I think with Emily, she saw somebody say they paid five thousand for these bag or these bags all together. I'm not too for sure. Even a thousand that's still a lot of money. That's the one I saw with somebody say they paid a thousand dollars for this bag. Could you imagine how that person feel, how they probably heart sank to the bottom of their foot? I hope they didn't take not one step and they were sitting down when this happened because could you imagine that? You paid a, a lot of money for a bag and then that joke would just show up for retail. Like just slapping you all up and down in your face. A bag that you believe was exclusive that only cast members could get and should have not returned and that joke would show back up. You better think about that for a little bit. How would you feel? I say that because when it comes to folks who buy bags like this, they usually don't get too much compassion. I, mean, I know we grown and all that. They get comments like, see, that's why I would never buy a bag like that. Uh, they need to start making better life decisions. That's what they get. People who buy these expensive bags, they don't post like they used to. There was a time where people would buy these bags and they would post and be excited. But you know what people do when they do that? How much money you pay for the bag? They had somebody post a month or two ago that posted a bag and had to put up, had to put, do not ask me how much this bag costs. Could you, I'm, I'm, I could not believe that somebody had to actually say that because people normally do this. How much you pay for the bag? Who? that's a lot of money. Child, it couldn't be me. I, that's fine. That's you. That's not normal for somebody to say how much money they spent for a bag. It's just not normal. No more. But I, I really feel for that person, anybody else who spent that kind of money, thinking they have a bag that a lot of people won't have, now a lot of people do have. It scares me a little bit because... What else they'll bring back? You got the other hand where collectors are happy, like, okay, whoo, boy, they finally, I mean, I've been wanting these bags. I ain't got that kind of money to be spending on a bag like that. I know some of y'all were super excited. They probably went home and pulled out the lawnmower in the rain and started cutting the grass. Went up in the attic, got all them cobwebs out of there. Figure you got enough money now to pay all them parking tickets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just joking around. But I'm, a lot of people were, were were excited. And I'm really happy for them as well. Congratulations to anyone who was actually able to get this bag and who probably held off on getting it as well. But it's just, yeah, it left a lot of, even though you've seen a lot of excitement, there was a part where folks weren't too happy. I mean, for me, it did make me nervous about 
this bag coming back. Now, I did see some people comment talking about down on um, Lounge Fly need to bring back the Minnie Mouse main attraction. Uh uh, hold on, slow here, slow down now, slow, slow your roll. Okay, I'm gonna tell you to pump your brakes. Matter of fact, leave the car there and walk home because we ain't having that, all right. <laughs> We ain't having it. I mean, I get why they bring in majority of these bags back because they want to make collectors happy. But what about those who don't want them to come back or who don't think it's a good idea for this stuff to come back? Do we not have a voice? I understand they want to make money and make everybody happy, but some things should not come back. Those bags, and I know I got them. I know people are like, well, why you got them if you don't want them back? Then, let me tell you something. When it comes to these re-releases, like I said, I don't have no control over it. I may not agree to them being back. Don't mean I ain't going to get them. That's the difference. I'm not sending long flight emails telling them to bring this. I don't do none of that. But if it's something I like and I see it, I'm going to get it. Folks are saying Disney Parks bags. That's another break we need to pump. Get your feet off the gas on that one too. And I know some of the bags people want. They want the Seven Dwarfs bags. They want the Monsters Incorporated bags. Let me tell you something. Sweet Wills don't have those bags and I don't want them back. I do not want to see those bags back. Let people who have those bags enjoy the fact that they have something that a lot of collectors do not have. That's another thing. It's not just about having value in their collection. It's about people who want to have something that everybody don't have. I'm sorry if you want to go to D23 2022 with the Winnie the Pooh box lunch exclusive on and it's about 50 of y'all. Y'all can go ahead and take a nice rude picture and knock yourself out. That's fine. Not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody want to have the same thing as everybody else. Let those people who have it have that exclusivity to themselves. And it wasn't exclusive. It's just, uh, it's just unfortunate when that bag came out, you weren't collecting. It's just unfortunate when that bag came out, it stood on the shelves for a long time. It's just unfortunate when that bag came out, not only did it stay on the shelf for a long time, but by being on there so long, it went on sale. Nobody was checking for this stuff. And once again... It was either you weren't collecting around that time or you were and you saw it and you never got it. So those folks who got that stuff, let them be. And if they want to sell it for two, three thousand dollars $3,000, that's their property. They can do and choose to do whatever they want to do with it. You don't have to buy it. That's the thing I don't get when it comes to these bags. Nobody making, nobody buy these bags. You choose to buy these bags. You don't need these bags to survive. You want them. These bags are not a need, they are one. And yes, some folks do like having value in their collection. I do. I collect Disney cards, and I like having value in that. I don't look at these bags like, you know what? I got a few of folks' grills, and I can tell you something. By the next year or two, if I sell it, I'll probably be able to buy a house built from the ground right off the scratch. I'm telling you. You know what? I got these other bags. I got these doonies, right? I'm telling you, another year from now, I'll be able to get that car I want. Scrape cash off the lot. <laughs> Driving off. That's how I roll. Like, I don't look at it that way. And I don't know nobody who does look at this stuff as an investment for us buying some serious property. Like, <laughs> I don't know what people be saying. You guys, if, if I'm confusing you all, please comment down below and tell me. Because when I hear stuff like that, I don't know what people be thinking. No. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I don't know if people really think like that. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But when I talk about having value in my collection, I like the fact that I have an item that I may have paid $10. And just to see that it went up to maybe $23 or even $40, that's exciting to me. If you all got the Funko app, look at some of the Funko that you may have brought. You probably paid $15 or $20 for, and they might be at $60 and $70 and $80. That's exciting for me. That doesn't mean I'm going to take it and sell it. You know, it just means that I have something that has some type of value to it. And some people like having stuff with value to it. You don't, when you buy something, majority of stuff you buy, you don't want it to decrease in value. You want it to stay stay steady or you want it to um, increase in value. And that's how some collectors are. It's, it's a thrill for me. I don't know about everybody else, but I get excited when I walk in my room and see see some of these cars I got. I'm like, you know what? I remember when I brought that for $4 and just to see that it's $50 now. Man, that's cool. I guarantee you what, there have been many lounge fly collectors that these bags have gotten them out of jams. A lot of them. If it weren't for some of these bags that they have sold, some of these bags that they have sold have gotten them 
out of a lot of different situations, whether it was to fix a car, get a tire, put food on the table, pay half of the rent, whatever the situation may be. Y'all comment down below and let me know if you had to sell one of your bags to get you out of the jam. So whether you believe in value or not, it has helped out a lot of people. And I don't, and I think that's an amazing thing. If you had something and it, you had something that you may have gotten at retail and you was able to take that to fix a really bigger, fix a bigger situation than what the value of that bag was. Congratulations to you all. This situation here has definitely opened my eyes up. It kind of want to make me slow down just a little bit. Maybe start looking at my inventory and looking at the things I'm getting. It's causing me to be very, very picky. Now, I know I got two bags yesterday, but I already had planned on getting one. And the other, I really like that one too. But it's kind of got me to just slow down and think about it. And due to that, I didn't get the on Ray backpack yesterday from on Bibbidi. I got it for Jackie, but not myself. But I did get Mandel yesterday. It was released on G Treasures, which was, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it's still up because everything else sold out but that. That's kind of scary. And I'm sorry for the long video. I know y'all like my long videos, but I try not to do them too, too long. But, you know, this here... It was a much needed discussion, but I want to get everybody's opinions down below. What do you all think about this release? Do you think that this was a great idea and they need to start releasing some of these other older bags, whether it's Disney parks or not, because the value is too high. That way, regular collectors and people who truly want to have the bag in their collection can get it. Do you think it's a bad idea that they're releasing all of these bags, re-releasing some of these exclusive bags whether it be with the parks or even limited edition bags do you think it's a bad idea also another thing do you all believe in there's a such thing as limited edition when it comes to long fly or it's just a word being said because some people don't believe it some people do some people just on the fence about it also do you think that they should have released these particular bags here being that they were a cast member exclusive or you think that's good that they released it and now collectors have a chance at owning these bags without paying a higher premium. But I truly want to get everyone's opinion about this whole situation, everything I talked about. I want to know your feelings. How do you feel about it? Or were you also were you one of those individuals that paid a lot of money for any of these bags and to see them jokers show back up? How does that make you feel? Or do you are you one of those individuals that feel as if I would never pay over retail for a backpack? And explain to me why you wouldn't pay over retail besides the fact that they can bring these bags back if they choose to. Is there another reason beside that? Because that's the main thing I see. Like, I would never pay over retail because, because Loungefly can bring these bags back anytime. Is there any other reason why you wouldn't pay over retail? Put it down below in the comment section. Because I want to get everyone's opinion on this situation. I'm not going to lie. I don't have, I haven't paid over retail for these bags, but it still hit me hard because i felt bad for those who paid all that money for it i felt bad if there were any cast members out there that felt a certain type of way about like okay i thought this was for us and now it's being released i'd like to get more information when it comes to these re-releases like how are they doing it will they release the disney parks bag i even had a buddy of mine afraid that they might release dooney bags next like i listen and what is limited edition now, if you want to know what limited edition is, the G Treasures, they did make a statement. They did say when they say LE, that means that they don't plan on restocking these bags at all. So I do appreciate G Treasures um, speaking out about it when it comes to limited edition for their company and their website. I can't speak on everybody else. I can only speak on them. So when they say, when they say LE, that means they don't plan on bringing it back. And if you have any questions in regarding to them, G Treasures only. Please email them to get more information on that. So I do appreciate that statement from them. Now, before I upload the video, I do have to go back and just to make sure everything is okay. And I did notice it does sound like that I'm all against this bag being re-released, which is actually true. But I do understand both sides of the equation. I just think when it comes to folks that don't agree to this stuff being re-released or have an issue with what's going on, they aren't heard as much. It's not talked about as much. They're actually silence, believe it or not. You hear more folks that want the bag to come back. And I don't I don't get involved in those conversations. I don't really say too much or nothing. Whether I agree or disagree, I understand that some people want these bags to come back. But what's not heard is folks who do not and think it's not a good idea. I mean, they got so many bags coming out. 
Why do we need extra bags? Now, I'm okay with the UK getting it. And we call it re-release, but technically, it's not re-release for them because they never had a chance to get these bags. It's like brand new to them. Even though they may have gotten somebody from the United States to get them the bag, it's still brand new to them. And also, I am hearing that my folks out in Canada are having an issue with getting some of these exclusives as well. So I'm hoping Loungefly Funko will open the gates up for my folks out there in Canada because I want them to have the same chances as us in the United States and the same chances as the UK is getting as well. But this is something that needs to be said, this needs to be heard, and other collectors need to understand. It's just not you all that want all the bags to come back. There are, also, there are some collectors, probably not as many, but they don't think it's a good idea. And I think this discussion is needed, and that's why I'm talking about it. And I'm not saying that this post is going to make a change and long fly mine. You know what? Sweet Will said we're going to go ahead and shut it down. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say as a community, because we have no control on what they're going to re-release or not re-release, but we do control how we treat one another. And for a majority of you all, probably most of you all, probably your first time even knowing how I felt about re-releases. Some probably know it, some might, some might have not. But yeah, but I've accepted this a long time ago, okay? When they first did the first re-release, I was like, oh my goodness. If anything, I was just scared they're going to bring a bunch of my bags back. That was it. <laughs> That's what I was mainly worried about, if anything. But when I see folks make videos and post pictures of their grails and when these bags are released and they can get them at retail, I'm super excited and happy for every last one of you all, okay? I, I mentioned earlier in the video, whoever was able to get this, this bag here, I'm really happy for everyone who was actually able to score it. And if you're on the waiting list, hopefully you'll get chosen, whether it be the Strawberry Sunday or these bags on Pink Alamo. Hopefully you're up next. I'm not too sure if they're done yet. Y'all going to have to check up on that. But yeah, Sweet Wheels ain't got no control over this, nor do you or anyone else. It's just lounge fly. I'm truly hoping no one is offended by this video or the comment that I'm making. But I just want to let everybody know because it's not talked about. It's not mentioned on a lot of posts about some collectors don't want them to. A lot of collectors don't. They just don't talk about it. And I know a few of them. You just don't hear them. Because the majority of lounge fly collectors, when it comes to these bags, they want all the bags re released. But understand, if somebody do make a comment about it, don't attack them when they say, I don't think it's a good idea. Understand that, you know what, that person, I get what that person's saying. So I can, I can kind of look at it a little differently now. All right? Just want us to respect one another, whether we agree or disagree with each other's opinions. We are humans. And let's learn to be nice and caring and understanding to one, one another. Because when it all boils down, we all are lounge fly collectors in one big community. All right? But, um, you all, that'll do it for my video today, okay? And like always, if you're watching this video and you had not subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Also, hit that notification bell. Make sure you click on all so you can be notified whenever I drop a video or a community post. And until next time, everyone, take care.